Our day is finally here, Shelby. A day I promised you back in 2020 was going to happen. We joke about the day I first met you, but can't get into that for certain reasons. Ha ha. The world stood still. Your eyes cut through me and I was in complete shock. I didn't know what way was up or what way was down. All I knew was the direction I cared about going was right then and there that got me to you. I wanted to chase after you that night, but because of those reasons we aren't going to talk about, I had to wait. That same feeling you gave me that night is the same feeling I get whenever I look at you. I'll, I look into your eyes and I see a future. I see a best friend. I see a wife. I see a mother. I see a grandma. I see my forever. I promise to always chase after you and I'll never let anything stand in our way. A verse I've built my life around is Colossians 3.23, which says, Work diligently at all the things you do as though you're working for the Lord and not for men. That's how I viewed our relationship, and that's how I'm going to view our marriage. No matter how hard the work may get, I'll never give you 50% and expect your 50% in return. I'm always going to give you 150%. I watched you put your life on hold with all of us when Daddy got sick. For those who don't know, Dad passed away a year and five months ago after a short battle with a very aggressive cancer. Daddy always looked at you like you were his daughter, and he loved you like you were. I know if he was here with us today, he would be giving you a heck of a hard time, but that was just Dad. I promise to always be right by your side no matter the situation. I have told you for a long time I love you forever and always, and today is no different. It's just another mile marker on the road. Zach, you may kiss your bride. Shelby and Zach, I love you both. I'm so glad that God brought you both together. I've watched your love grow. You've taught me what love really is. And I want you to know I'm always here for you and won't do anything for you. Love each other with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your body, with all your soul, and never go to bed angry. I love you guys. Zach and Shelby, I am so happy that this day's finally come for both of you and I love you both so much. I do have one recommendation that I would make because I'm 65 now, so I've been to a number of weddings and known lots of friends and things like that, but those vows y'all wrote were so beautiful and they were full of promises to one another. So I recommend that every year on your anniversary that as part of your celebration of your anniversary, even if you don't get to go out to dinner that day, but on that day, I suggest y'all reread those vows to one another. I just, if I had somebody to tell me that, 
you know, just anything like that would have been great advice for me. So I'm giving it to you. Love you both and God bless. Yeah, we could change the world if we would just believe 